Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is updates to Google Safe Browsing. If you haven't heard of Google Safe Browsing Mechanism, it's actually something that comes with Google products and tries to prevent you from going to websites that might be distributing malware or trying to fish your credentials. Right now, one of the biggest problems on the internet as far as security is drive-by download attacks, where if you go to the wrong site, it might leverage vulnerabilities in your browser or software on your computer to forcefully download malware onto your computer. And of course, safe browsing tries to dynamically keep up with all the sites Google knows about that are distributing malware and prevent your computer from actually reaching them, which is a great thing. By the way, uh, safe browsing is available in Google's browser, Chrome, but it also comes with things like uh, Gmail. It comes with their operating systems like Android or their Chromebook operating system. In any case, I think it's a very effective system and one I personally like and use. I'm not one to actually recommend browsers, you know, really your browser is your preference. But one of the reasons I use Chrome right now is because I really do like the protection that safe browsing actually gives me. Anyways, today Google released a blog post talking about some of their safe browsing updates. The biggest update is Google's adding a classification for repeat offenders and will be more aggressive at blocking those particular sites. The issue with safe browsing is right now, one of the ways drive-by downloads affect folks is by bad guys hijacking legitimate websites. You know, you might have a perfectly legitimate website that suffers a web flaw, and a bad guy can leverage that flaw to force your site to distribute malware. On top of that advertising built into some sites also uh, sometimes distributes malware. So of course Google has to have a system that allows uh, legitimate websites that might show up as a bad safe browsing site to be able to petition Google and get them to remove them once they've confirmed that they're not distributing malware any longer. In any case, Google's new uh, classification for repeat offenders is going to try to prevent uh, bad sites that really are malware distributors that might temporarily clean up their site from uh, then distributing malware again. Basically, Google said if you're a site that continually distributes malware, if you maybe you've cleaned it up before but suddenly you show up on the safe browsing list again a number of times, they're going to start to penalize you harder. They're going to put you on their safe browsing list for at least 30 days and they're not going to give you an opportunity to position this. Once you become that repeat offender, you get a mandatory 30-day timeout on this particular list. In any case, I thought it was just an interesting update and I think a good one. There are a number of malware sites that might temporarily clean themselves up just to avoid this list and Google needs to do something about them. In any case, I just thought it was an interesting update and story. And if I were to give you one practical tip, even though your browser preference is your own to make, one of the reasons I do like Chrome is because of this safe browsing mechanism. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.